a Winnie Mini 2201 DS here at Halet RV. And man, look at that red cherry bomb skin. Pow! I, it, uh, you want to turn heads. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Look at that thing. All high gloss exterior skin. I mean, are you surprised it's not an RV? It's a Winnebago. You know, this kind of stuff just makes sense. Power awning, power tongue jack, pretty common stuff in the lightweight market. Um, what I what I want to point out are the areas where it is different because every RV is the best for a different reason. So why would we look at the 2201 DS Winnebago versus something else? Uh, again, we've already talked about, I mean, the, the very obvious elephant in the room is just this gorgeous skin. Now keep in mind, this video is not necessarily representative of the actual unit we have in stock. They can put different color skins on these uh, um, Winnebago Minis. There's a, the, the Cherry Bomb Red we're looking at. There's a, a beautiful blue, a green, a yellow, a platinum, a, a tan. All kinds of different color skins. So double check our website or give us a call to make sure we have exactly what you're looking for or just to check to see what we have. Frankly, I think they all look good. I haven't seen one I didn't like. They, they're doing a great job. Um, giant oversized bedroom windows and they're jealousy windows so you can use them in the rain. That's one of the differences you'll find in these. Very big bed windows here. Um, same with the slide out. These are also a jealousy style that will open up uh, in the rain. They use uh, aluminum wheels with nitro filled tires. Uh, nitro, nitrogen is a uh, inert gas. It's uh, not going to rot the tire from the inside out over time. Um, the front wall is white, the rest of the, uh, it is a colored skin. They do a white front wall because that knocks down the amount of heat generated in your bedroom. Basically, it keeps it somewhere between 10 to 20 degrees cooler in there in the, in the hot sun. I like that all of your hookups are back here in the corner. This is where they're supposed to be. You got your outside utility shower. You have separate cable and satellite hookups. You don't have a single hookup, so you can run dual systems if you're so inclined. Uh, we've got a black tank flush and everything back here, all in one easy spot to take care of uh, you know, all of your utility needs. And it's back in the corner where the, the hookup post is. That's, to me, where the hookups are supposed to be. I mean, look at the, look at the gloss on this. You can just easily see my reflection and my <laughs> bald head <laughs> gleaming in the sun. Maybe I should say balding. I don't know. Big awning on this guy, too. You couldn't put a much larger awning on it. It starts at the very back wall and goes right up front to where it begins to taper down. So that's, what, probably about a 20-foot-ish awning? Very generously sized. Um, we do have a, uh, a low-ride and outdoor kitchen out here, although the way they did it, you know, they, they use the same interior wood tones that they use, uh, uh, well, pardon me, they used out here the same wood tones they use inside is what I was trying to say. Um, so we've got this, this nice, light-colored, high-contrast exterior here. you got your cooktop that slides in and out. Easy. I love the fact that they actually gave you a little pull tab. Do you have any idea how many outside kitchens have been built for how many years now? Since 2011 is when the outside kitchen thing really came on. And it's really hard sometimes to get your cooktop out of there. All it takes is a pull tab, and they did it. And that's what I like about Winnebago. I've been down in the factory, and their guys don't sprint. They're not on a dead sprint. They move slow, they move methodically, they get the job done the right way, and if they need help, they find help. You know, they don't sit there and just try to Mickey Mouse stuff and push it through. They're proud of everything they let go. This is, by the way, the perfect size for a little mini microwave or uh, if you got a little toaster or something out here. And I like the fact that they have a little lip on this shelf, so you got a perfect little spice rack down in there. And hey, who doesn't like Dad's medicine cabinet? This is where we keep the barley pot. <laughs> Um, let's hop inside here real quick. Let me double check the dry weight. I think I know, but I don't want to guess and get it wrong and then quote something bad in one of these videos here. Dry weight on this one. Oop, where did I put the sticker? Oh, here it is. 5,180 pounds. Uh, this one comes in at 5,180. So that gives us, uh, you know, easily, uh, you know, some SUVs could tow this, let alone half tons. You know, common trucks that have no problems in here. 100% LED interior lighting. We also have central air in this little guy and central heat, which most little lightweights don't have. <clears throat> what I kind of like about these, what I really like, I should say, is how all of your Winnebago towable stuff is effectively built the same. It's just a matter of how large it is. And it does look like my fourth battery box for the day is dying. We've had so many deliveries here. If it gets a little dark, I am so sorry. I don't remember the name of this color scheme offhand. I'm still learning my Winnebago color schemes. Although, I will say it does, you know, it really complements everything extremely nicely. Everything in here has a curvature to it, too. 
you know, all of your window treatments. Everything has a swoosh to it. Nothing is just flat and boring. Um, big pantry here next to your big U-Dynat slide too. Check this out. This is neat. Right below your slide out, they have a power outlet so that it's right between everything. So this is, you know, if you want to turn this into craft stations for the kids or something, you can do that. Big pantry here. Um, and notice that all of your cabinet drawers through the entire camper are seamless. There is nowhere that this thing can split and fall apart from rough use over time. The, um, you know what's kind of nice is even though the batteries are dying on me, with the light colored interior here and their big windows, it's really not too bad. I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel like I'm looking in a cave here right now. Um, the uh, sink, uh, both in the bathroom and the kitchen and your Winnebago's, they use stainless because it's just rugged and it lasts longer. Um, even though Winnebago got their start way back when in Iowa um, with uh, uh, travel trailers, it was their motorhomes that makes everyone, you know, when you hear motorhome, you think Winnebago, you think RVs, you think Winnebago because of all those motorhomes. Well, it's stuff like a better quality stainless steel sink that, uh, you know, helped get them there. This is also a really neat sprayer style faucet, like residential style in here. You don't typically find in lightweight trailers. And uh, this is good for, you know, if husbands get out of line, um, it's, you know, it's got a lot of weight to it. You can really crack your husband and knock some sense into him. Also a handy cutting board. Um, that's the that's the other use for it. it. It's it's a husband equalizer slash cutting board. Um, I like that the uh, control panel's all up here out of the way. Now this is really neat. Their slide outs and their awnings have power kill switches so that they're not slowly sucking juice off the battery and you can't accidentally damage. You have to very uh, purposely turn that on to be able to operate that appliance. Um, let's move back in the rear bathroom here. Very large amount of storage i couldn't believe like this in and of itself in a 22 foot ultralight that's a massive massive linen cabinet space but check this out even more than that and again still seamless doors look at this big guy holy crap batman this is huge right here look at that you've got you know Hat storage up here, you've got uh, dual height, um, you know, uh, hanging storage. You can easily put uh, brooms and vacuums in here, and it passes all the way through. This is the biggest closet I've ever seen in the back of a travel trailer, ever. Keep in mind, I've got over 450 RVs in stock. I have this floor plan in stock from three different manufacturers. Easily the largest uh, rear storage I've ever seen in this layout. And we have a fifth wheel standing shower, not a travel trailer tub. How cool is that? Once again, still stainless steel sink in the bathroom and with extra countertop space. And once again, nothing is flat. This is beveled on a bias so that we have extra space here, but still is that open flow. Your uh, bathroom ceiling lights down here where it's easy to reach. You don't even have to have lights on to figure out where it's at. And you have uh, a, like a his and a hers medicine cabinet set up with a virtual floating mirror appearance on it. How cool is that? Um, moving forward. Give me, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> Give you another look at the U-Dinette from another angle here. Once again, I do love how everything does have a shape and a character to it. Um, your Central Island Entertainment Center. Oh, you know what? Before I, I skip past that, let me give you a quick look at the kitchen storage here. There's two more drawers below that one, but some very deep, generous kitchen storage space going on there. Winnebago's come with a uh, first-year roadside assistance, by the way. Hope you never need it. It's like a spare tire or health insurance. I hope you never use it. I hope that goes to waste and you never call them. But you know what? You get a flat tire in North Dakota and you have no clue where you're at. You call that 800 number, they take care of you. It's, uh, it is an awesome system. It's CoachNet. A lot of RV manufacturers offer it, and thank goodness for it. It is fantastic, the number of stuff they do. So our uh, Jensen flat screen here is mounted in a spinning uh, entertainment enclosure, so it can go either direction. Uh, we also have an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth-enabled system here, so it does everything. And if you want to listen to music off your phone, if you're kind of a tech nerd like me, um, you uh, you know you can always have the music you want on hand and these things have crazy range you can be like 30 yards away and they still work it's awesome um, moving up here into the bedroom we're just about done thanks for hanging with us uh, your uh, master bed in this class you don't get nicer bedding this is the same bedding they use in their fifth wheels they don't use a cheaper bed just because it's a smaller trailer and that's what I mean by everything's built the same it's just a matter of how big or small it is to me, that's the right way to do it. I love that they do it that way. 
Both sides of the bedroom have extra large windows that again open for ventilation. Here we have a taller closet and here we have a charge station for CPAP machines and whatnot. But check this out, you roll over in the morning and you know, you're looking right out under your awning, you've got scenic views, hopefully you're not looking at propane tanks and whatnot laying in the Haylet driveway. Hopefully you're looking at uh, your campsite, maybe a lake or something fun like that. So give us a call, learn more, 800-256. 5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.